You ready? Start today. You have to go to this camera. Because every time it comes out and points at you, you want to eat it. Oh my goodness, what are you doing, dog? Yep. They're having one of those moments. Mm-hmm. I have a confession, guys. I made zucchini muffins. Gluten-free muffins, but... But they are still a muffin. And... They're actually really good, and it was a really easy recipe. Um... I, I used to make all my gluten-free baking things with, like every single flour, but I just don't cook very often, so I don't have that many flours on hand anymore. So I have to admit I used um, Pamela's baking mix. It's the regular pancake and baking mix, which my system is okay with. And if you just Google zucchini muffins Pamela's baking mix and you'll find the recipe, and I made the muffin version, and they're really good. <laughs> they're actually really good. Uh, I cut back the sugar just a little bit. Um, and of course you could probably sub in like applesauce or something like that if you're into that thing. I use some of those uh, big giant zucchinis that the uh, friend gave us from their garden. Those zucchinis aren't great for cooking like sauteing or chopping up with dinner. But you can grate them and make like zucchini pancakes or muffins or various other things. Just don't grate the seed section. Just grate the outside edge and you can make some gluten free muffins too. Do you want one Missy? Okay, now is the time to stop canning water. I'm gonna can something for real. For reals, people, for reals. <laughs> I'm only gonna do one thing. I'm gonna do about three quarters of ground elk. I'm just gonna do a little pint jar. Um, this is a test batch. I'm gonna run it for 90 minutes, make sure it holds uh, pressure for 90 minutes. I'm gonna set aside a little bit of the meat in the fridge. And after it's done canning and it's cooled, I'm gonna test the flavor and the texture of the canned stuff versus the stuff I cooked and just refrigerated. So I can see if uh, it's acceptable. <laughs> I'm not gonna can pounds and pounds of this stuff and then open it up and not really like the texture. I've heard that adjust the texture a little bit, but it's like worse if it's in the sauce. And since I'm sort of dry canning this, I think it'll be okay. So you basically just cook your meat down, drain it really good, um, dry pack it in the jar, leaving yourself um, about an inch of space at the top, something like that, and can it. When you're, when you're ready to cook, you take the meat out, you put it in a saute pan, just heat it up, kind of brown it a little bit, and then do whatever you want with it, like taco seasoning, or put it in spaghetti, or, you know, whatever you want to do. So, test batch number one, ground elk, plain. She looks so excited. She's actually hungry, it's dinner time. Maybe we'll do some training before dinner. We're getting to that five month mark, you're five months today, and you've been getting a little more independent. So let's do some training before dinner. How do you, what do you think? She looks so excited. All right, so we're going to finish cooking this, pack it in there, and cook it for 90 minutes in the pressure cooker. Now these are like uh, commercial canning jars and lids. 
So it's a one piece lid in a slightly more uniform jar. I'm supposed to put them on fairly tight. Yeah. Definitely only a one time use lid. Familiar? <laughs> exactly the same. Commercial. Okay, so I have my sample set aside to go in the fridge. Let's go stick this in the pressure cooker. This is the help you get when you try and study at home. Hmm. Well, I can my first item other than water. So it's ground elk and we'll leave it and see if it seals. I'm not gonna push it, touch it, do anything. Just looks like canned meat. It's even bubbling a little bit right now. All right, see you in the morning.